Hello everyone, this is my 41 video in react series. In our previous video, we have seen how to create this form, how to handle the data of input events and how to submit that data and how to get that data. If I just write here one name, here I'll just write random mobile number. You can see whatever I'm typing here that has been stored inside this states. And when I click on submit, this data will be stored inside this object. So you can see inside object, the data will be stored. If I just give here one more name, Ria, I'll just give mobile number. You can see that data has been printed and that data has been stored inside another object and here I'll be getting array of objects. Okay, now in this tutorial, we are going to add multiple input fields and we will see how to use destructuring inside this one. I'm just going to continue the same form. Okay, here you can see I have the same input field, one input and second input field. Here I have this button and once I click on this, okay, here inside this form, I have this on submit event function and here once I submit this one, okay, by default, I'm just preventing my form from submitting. Here I have this, okay, we have already seen that in our previous video, this entire thing. Now we are going to add two more fields. Okay, here we are going to add mobile and email here. I'll just copy this entire diff container and here I'll be pasting that one and again I'll be pasting that one here I'll just write here enter your email and also I'm just going to write here enter your uh, password and here instead of this I'll just write here email I'll copy this here I'll be pasting that one and here I'll just write password I'll just copy this one and here I have this enter your password Okay, here I have everything and here instead of this mobile, I'm just going to write here email. Okay, we are going to create our states now. I'll be writing email and here I'll just write password. Okay, if you are getting confused what we are doing, then you have to refer our previous video. Only then you will understand this one. Okay, here I have this password. Okay, this will be the state. This will be the state and this is our state. Now we have to create state for password and email. I'll just copy this one and here I'll be writing email. And here I'll just write set email. Okay, and also we are going to see how to validate password. I'm going to give here password. I'll just give a set password. I'll save this and now if I show you, okay, here I have password. Now you can see I have this four fields. Now inside this app component, you can see I, I will be having four states and one empty array state which will be storing all the data here. Now, if I just write here Khanam mobile number, I'll just give here email. I'll just give here Khanam at gmail.com. Okay, on my right side, you can see it's getting added here. Okay, inside this state, the data is getting added. Now, password, I'll just give here. Now, when I click on submit, you can see only this two data has been submitted. And inside this use state, you can see only this two data has been stored. First, for this two fields, we are not creating and we are not emptying this value. You can see now we have to fix that one. We are not storing this variable inside our object. So, for that, we have to store this one now. Now, we have already created our object inside this one. You can see inside this variable, we are storing our object, my data and mobile. And these are my state names here. Okay, these are my state variables. I'll copy this email and here I'll be pasting email and here I'll copy this password. And here I'll be pasting password. Okay, now all the values, whatever I'm having here, I'm storing inside this new data and that will be stored inside state. And here I'm just emptying set my name and set mobile. So I have to empty this set email. I'll copy this and here I'm going to paste that one. I'll just empty the value here. And also I'm just going to copy this set password and here I'll be pasting that one. I'll just close this one. Now, if I show you the output, I'll just refresh this one. Now, when I click on this, okay, when I type something, I'll just write random mobile number, khanam at gmail.com and password, I'll just give some random number, submit. This data has been printed because here I have given only that two data, but inside my state, if you see, I'll be having email. I'll just increase the size. You can see I'll be having email. I'll be having this mobile number. And also here I'm having this data. You can see I'm having name, mobile number, email and password. Okay, everything will be stored inside this state. Now to get the access of this state, we have already created this arrays and using this map method, we are getting the access of that state. Now, once we have passed this email and password, that is my use state. Okay, this one and this one, once we have passed this one, now we are having this data inside this set new entry. Now we will be printing that data here. Okay, instead of writing this, I'll just write here. Uh, I'll just, I'll be writing like this. I'll just copy this one and here I'll be writing that one. 
here I will just write this one my name is this one and and my mobile number is I'll save this and now if I just show you okay I'm getting the output here now here instead of this I'll just write one h2 I'll just create h2 and inside this I'll just copy the same thing from here and here I'll be pasting that one and instead of my name I'll just give here email and here I'll be giving password I'll just copy this and here I'll be pasting that one I'll just remove this and also I'll just copy this email from here and here I'll be pasting that one now if I show you the output you can see whatever name and mobile number I have entered that I'll be getting the output I'll just refresh once okay now here I'm just going to give I'll just give another name I'll just give here Seema mobile number I'll just give here 1212 email I'll be giving Seema at gmail.com and password I'll just give here QWERTY submit you can see my name is Seema and my mobile number is this one my email is this one and my password is this one okay we will be getting the output we can handle multiple forms okay if you want you can pass the id but you have to pass the id here you can just give the time and you can just give like this id dot time and here inside the separate variable you can just access the time like this const time and using new time you can just get the time okay new date new date you will be getting the time and you will just get the output okay you don't have to write here i'm just going to remove this from here i'll save this now once we get the output okay once we got the output now when i click on submit you can see i'll be getting the empty data here i don't need this one i want some alert message or some console should be displayed to me so below this e you can see below this preventing before e dot prevent dot default i'll just write one condition if my my name i'll just copy this here i'll be pasting that one i'll just write this and operator and and operator is nothing but both the conditions should be true i'll be writing mobile i'll copy this here i'll be pasting that one i'll just copy password here i'll be pasting that one and here again i'll just write this and operator and here i'll just write email i'll just copy this one and here I'm just going to paste that one okay once I enter all the fields only then I have to store this variables and I have to update that variables inside state else I'll just throw one alert I'll just give here alert please fill please fill all the fields I'll save this I'll just refresh once Now when I click on submit without entering any data, okay, you can see here I will be getting this alert message, please fill all the fields. Now here if I just give here name, mobile number, submit, again I will be getting the error. I have to fill all the fields, only then the form will be submitted and I will be getting the output. Here I will just give here proper names, I will give here Ria and here mobile number I will just give this one. I will just give the email Ria at gmail.com and password I am just going to give some number. Uh, variables enter you can see now i'll be getting all the output here okay my name is ria my mobile number is my email is and my password is okay this is how we are going to check the validation okay this is the basic validation okay if i enter all the fields only then i have to set this data only then i'm updating the data here only then i'm just setting this variables whatever i'm entering inside this input field i'm just storing that inside this variables and here i'm just passing that variable here and whatever previous data I'm having, I'm just getting that data using the spread operator. And this variable will be having all the data. I'm just passing that variable here. Once I click on submit button, then I have to empty all the field, all the input fields. So I'm just passing this empty values. Okay, without entering any field, if I just give submit button, then I'll be getting this alert message. This is how we are going to do. Okay, we have just added some more fields and we are getting the output here. Okay, here you can see using this on change, we are just updating the value, we are targeting the value, and we are just updating the value. Only then we will be able to type. If we don't give this on change, then we will not be able to type in that particular input field and we will not be getting any output. And here I'm just rendering that one. Okay, if you want, you can just copy this div and you can place anywhere you want. I'll just copy this entire div, I'll just cut from here. And here if I just want to paste here, okay, inside this I'll just paste that one. Now here 
I'll just I'll just refresh this. Now you can see I'll be getting the output here. On top I'll be getting. Okay, wherever you want to display the data, you can just display that data here. Okay, I have just displayed below. I'll save this. I'm just going to display here. Now if you see here, my output will be below this button here. Okay, this is how we are going to get the data of all input fields. Once we click on submit button, we are going to display that data here. That's all for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.